are working with tables, instead of having the formulas written the common way, let's rebuild the formulas using the tab Excel tables language. So in this case, I want to calculate the price. The price is, I want to look up tab. I want to look up the product ID. And you see, because I'm working with an Excel table, I clicked that cell and it no longer says that it's Excel D5 as before, but it tells me product ID in between brackets and this add sign there. Uh, the add sign means uh, look for what is in the same row where I am typing this formula and uh, look in the column product ID. That's what it, this means. This is very useful because now I don't have to be looking, oh, where, what's in column D? I know it's product ID. So then comma, the table array where I want to look for this code is, okay, so now I'm moving to the other parameter in the formula. And I want to look up for this, look up in this table here. And when I do this, notice the formula. Now it's picking up the name of the column. Now everything looks good. And then I want to pick up one, two, three, four, five, the fifth column. And I want to be an approximate match. No, I want to be an exact match. So I choose false with, I can press tab close parentheses and go. And see what happened. Immediately the formula went down the column in the entire table. You don't have to be dragging down your formulas, making sure it goes to the last row, but please make sure that every row is clean so that the formula can expand automatically correctly. Now the amount would be equal to the quantity. See how the formula is picking up the name of the column? times the price. And we have, again, look at that. Automatically, the formula came down. And to and it's very easy to read the formula because I see its quantity times price. And the add sign tells me what's in the quantity column in this row times the, the price in this row.